Hi, so like a lot of households and women especially, we're always talking about my weight, my size, all of this, right? So naturally I'm six foot three, about 175 pounds, okay? I recently had knee surgery and in the last several weeks, I've lost quite a bit of weight. I can't train as hard, my muscles, I'm losing muscle, my appetite's down, I'm not eating as much. I got on a scale the other day and I am 160 pounds. And for me, I was really bummed out because it takes so much work for me to get that muscle that um, I just sort of thought like, oh, it's gonna take a lot of work and it represented strength and all of these things. Well, the reason I have this lovely young lady with me, this is my middle daughter, Reese, she's 12 years old. I'll just give you a height reference. She's about 5'10", I'm 6'3". Um, Reese, as you can see, turn around Reese, is a very strong, powerful young lady. God given, God bless her, right? <laughs> Reese is with me. She gets on the scale with me. 160. Reese, what did the scale say when you got on the scale? 162. How did you feel about that? <laughs> I was glad. So there was another woman standing there and she thought that she'd entered a reverse universe where bigger was better somehow. And so I just want to bring this up to you because we're all different, right? My bones are actually lighter than both. Reese's bones. When she becomes a fully a full adult, most likely she'll be heavier than me. It'll be healthy. It'll be great. Some of us are bigger. Some of us are smaller. The point is, is that we give so much to the scale when really we should be giving it to how do we feel? Are we our own personal best and not worry about comparing or worrying about the scale? So we just wanted to share that story with you, Reese. Thank you for allowing me to disclose your numbers. No, I'm glad. And for all of you out there, we wish you great health.